Hey everybody, Jason Bowles with OutdoorProductReview.com. Um, today we're out here reviewing the new Hoyt Helix. First off, I want to give a shout out to our sponsors. I'd like to thank Sika Gear. They've been with us forever. Uh, Victory Archery, they're our arrow sponsor and uh, probably the best carbon arrow that you can have made. And also the QAD um, folks over there for the Ultra Rest. Uh, we do have their new rest on here, the M MXT which is a micro adjusting rest, uh, something that's really cool. And we'll cover that here in a later review. But first off, I'm gonna talk about the Helix here. So uh, this is the new bow, their new uh, aluminum bow from Hoyt. Uh, one of the aspects with this is that they have the uh, ZT cams on it and that's the zero torque cams. Uh, they're set up in a way with a sort of uh, dual cable systems on the back where you can't really torque the bow when you're shooting it. So this has an axle of 30.5, so it's 30 and a half inches axle to axle. It's got a six inch brace height with an IBO speed of 342 feet per second. So that's pretty fast compared to some of the carbon models that we've reviewed in the past from uh, Hoyt Archery. Also too, I really like, they have a nice uh, cable roller guard system in here. And it's set up close to the riser so your cables are out of the way. One of the issues that I did have when I was setting up the bow is just your down cable is actually on the split before it gets to the yoke system. Um, however, it didn't really affect the way that I had to uh, attach the rest. It just, uh, since with, with my reviews, I just put the rest on and I utilized the clamping device instead of tying it into the serving. Um, so you have a little bit of space here with that in the way, but other than that, it's still, I drew it back once, so you're not gonna really see the first draw, but I just wanted to make sure that this, uh, this clamping system wasn't gonna hit the uh, the STS on the back here, or, or, the, or the, the bar within the STS. Okay, so the bow weighs 4.2 pounds, so it's just a hair over that magic four pound mark. However, feeling it, it does feel pretty light. Um, one thing I must say when I drew it back though is though, it's pretty smooth to draw back, but you're gonna see with an arrow uh, and everything, all I did was sort of grab with my hands to make sure that the, uh, the cable roller system went down. But of course this one is in Sika's camo pattern, the OptiFade 2, which is awesome. Um, you know, I love my Sika gear and uh, it definitely, they sent it to me. They've, they've, they've teamed up with them and all their, their bows are uh, sort of set. Yeah, you can get it pretty much in camo pattern, which speaking of, this can go 24 all the way to 30 inches on your draw. Um, not this bow, but you can get the uh, cam modules associated with it and or limbs. You can also go up to 80 pounds on this bow. So if you wanted to get a bow that can fit like say your teenager or young kid I mean this this bow can be bought in those models that would that would uh, accentuate everything for for the the archer all right so let's go ahead and do that draw test on this bow I'm gonna set it up do like I'm waving like I always do pull the bow back it's really really smooth sets up nice right at 30 inches Come forward, try to creep. Oh, you got a lot, a lot of room in there. Let's go ahead and shoot this. Let's touch my two fingers. My bow was dead right there in your hand. Super, super quiet too. Of course, we have other archers out here shooting, so you heard his bow first. But uh, definitely really, really quiet. Smooth. All right, folks, well, there you have it. I'll tell you what, a very smooth drawing bow, a uh, great let off. You know, you can hold this bow back for just about ever. The aesthetics on it are phenomenal. There's not a flaw whatsoever. It's got great sound vibration dampening. Um, you know, of course it comes in the sick of color. That doesn't make the bow, but <clears throat> definitely gives it a little plus in my book. So uh, I'll tell you, if you guys get a chance, go out and shoot this. You'll pretty much agree with what I'm saying is that, you know, the valley on it's just super smooth. There's no like, massive draw force curve on this bow. And you know, with the IBO of 342 feet per second, can't beat it. So I'll tell you, um, yeah, overall, get it all set up, get it shooting just like a dart and you'll, uh, you'll, you'll like this bow. So for Outdoor Product Review, I'm Jason Ballas. I'll see you guys in the next review.